if you need to write a sub-lease agreement. Today I'm going to show you the structure of doing so. It's a basic structure a template that you can use to just add to and take away of so that it can be more specified to your needs. So without further ado, let's climb into it. So in a situation where you need to create a sublease agreement, here is a fantastic little template that you can use and customize according to your needs. So the first section over here on the sublease agreement is you are going to state some basics. The sublease agreement is made as of and you are going to put in a date and you are also going to add in the subleasers name and the sublessee's name as well as both of their addresses. The next section is the premises. We need to just state what the premises is. We need a small description, but in most cases, it can just be a full address of the premises itself. We're going into the terms now, and the terms of the sublease shall commence on a specific date, and it also shall be terminated on a specific date, and we can add in a clause here, and can be renewed and add in a date as well. The rent, the payment that will be made on a monthly um, basis over here, monthly frequency, the subleasee agrees to pay the subleaser rent in the amount of, you're gonna state the rent amount per month due on a specific date of each month. The first payment is due on, and you're gonna add a date in there as well, and payments shall be made by a specific payment method, so you need to state this specific payment method to the subleasers payment information so here you want to make sure that you are adding that information in there so the payment method as well as the sub this is payment information and then over here we have the clause of a security deposit now if this is necessary you can add this in if there is no security deposit you can just completely skip this section so um you're gonna select the amount of security deposit that is being paid and then you are also going to state that this deposit will be returned to the subleasee within a particular number of days and then uh, it says uh, after the termination of the agreement so this is subject to any deductions for damage or any unpaid rent make sure that this stays in there is pretty important the use of premises over here you are just putting down some details as to the use of the premises so let's just say it's a residential premises and you want to state in here that you shouldn't have a business being run from the premises or you shouldn't make any alterations um, to certain uh, areas of the premises whatever details you want to put in here add it in here so over here maximum number of occupants that we've used as an example and you can see that um the sublease agrees to comply with all the applicable laws so make sure that you put them all in there we also have maintenance and repairs and depending on what the agreement is originally in the contract um, this will be subject to that so the sublease agrees to keep the premises in a clean and sanitary condition and to promptly notify the subleaser of any maintenance or repair issues make sure that that's in there customize it if you need to there's also the uh, issue of utilities the sublease shall be responsible for the payment of the following utilities make Make sure that you put that in there in detail as much as possible this could include anything such as water electricity internet uh, whatever other services that you may have the subleaser shall be responsible for the payment of and then make sure that you're listing the utilities or um, any state payments that have to be made also we have some additional provisions over here the original lease the sublease is subject to the terms of the original lease between the subleaser and the landlord so the subleaser shall provide the sublease see with a copy of the original lease upon signing this agreement so you need to have that original contract that was in place from the subleaser and the landlord also no assignment for or further sublease um, this means that whoever is subleasing from you they cannot additionally sublease again we also have um making sure that this agreement is governed so the statement in over here we're going to add and just make sure that you are adding in your specific area your state your region your country whatever laws you must be abiding by in that area make sure that you're adding that in there and then this is just a statement to ensure that both parties that are involved here are in agreement to this entire document so 
um, then the next section you'll see we are going to just add those details in there so um, if you are signing on the dotted line you're adding your details here your full name date and your signature this means that you agree to the entire document the sublease agreement that we have just constructed i hope this video was helpful